All right, it's time to start knocking out another recipe here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. We're going to do uh, some fried raviolis today. I'm going to make these from scratch, and the first thing we need to uh, really get rolling here is the filler. I've got some hamburger here I need to start browning, and I'm going to just throw in some olive oil, and start the hamburger. I'll probably about maybe a, maybe a half pound here. And I'm just going to get this going, stick it on a higher temperature here as you can see, just to get it pressed real fast. Then we've got the garlic, we've got some mushrooms over here, we've got some uh, scallions I'm going to throw in there with us, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And over here, I've got some Velveeta queso cheese. I know it's going Mexican on you, but trust me, you're going to want that in these raviolis. Delish. Okay, halfway cooked through the process, as you can see, it's already browned. What I did here between bids is I uh, already strained it, got out all the extra fat and whatnot so it won't contaminate the rest of everything else, <laughs> and I mean just pollute it with all that fat. I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic, it's about a teaspoon. You don't add it at the beginning of this because of how long it takes to brown your meat. You don't want to burn that garlic. I'm going to get that in there, and then over here I've got about another half cup and one uh, entire uh, scallion stock, green onion. And start getting that mixture in there now. And I chopped up the mushroom real, real nice and fine because I want it to be in small chunks here when it's all mixed together here in the ravioli. I'm going to cook this for about another five minutes. Now in the meantime while I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm going to go ahead and start the ravioli dough. Now what I've got is uh, one cup of uh, all-purpose flour. i got the one cup of uh, bread flour and I'm going to crack an egg in here and I'm going to add one cup of water or I'm sorry make that a half cup of water and I've already got a pinch of salt in there and this is just my uh, basic pasta recipe and I've already got a view on this so I'm not going to go through the details on really how to smash this out but I'm going to roll up this dough and we're going to get it all spread out so I can make some ravioli and there's the dough you got to make it uh, really, really dense so it can withstand rolling it really thin and uh, stuffing it so they don't burst open when you work with it here in just a minute. Now back to the stove. It's been about five minutes here. You can see everything's brown. Everything's got its color. I'm going to go ahead at this point, salt and pepper, just a few good shakes over the top of it. And uh, over here, I've got uh, some Italian seasoning, which consists of... Uh, uh, thyme, majorum, sage, rosemary, there's oregano, there's basil, there's savory, and that about covers what's in that. But that'll give it a little more of an Italian flavor, especially since I'm putting in uh, Mexican cheese. <laughs> and it's about a half cup of cheese over here. And it's just that Velveeta, like I told you, so it's real simple. And I'm going to melt that down in here and, and get it nice and gooey. And then, uh, We'll get back over here to the ravioli. I'll start rolling that out, the dough itself. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that sucker in half because I just don't have the counter space to work with it. Poor man's gourmet kitchen. Just doesn't have the space. And I'm going to roll this all out to about an eighth of an inch. Okay, and there she is all rolled out. She's not as thin as I want it yet, though. It's just like my pasta video. I'm going to peel this up, and I'm going to stretch it with my hand just like I... I want to do with the pasta to make it thin like a canvas. That'll be the next step, and I'll roll it out one more time. And then I'll do the same thing with that other section I cut in half. So now it's workable. And all you got to do is just fold it in half a couple times, set it over here aside, start doing the other one for the top layer. See that there? Now that's a workable canvas. All you do is you, you lay your fillers out here, and we'll take this sucker and we'll spread it out over the top of it. And uh, you'll see that come together here in a minute. Now's a good time to check the stove. As you can see, that cheese is melted down in there all good. And nice and gooey. It's got some flavor in there. What I like about it is that jalapeno. It gives a little bit of a kick. Okay. Now also, in the meantime, you want to get that oil going. Now, you want it on a high heat 
not high, and you don't want a medium, but you want a good medium high to high. But be careful, don't turn it up that high if you're not ready for it, or you're going to start a fire, okay? But that's how high you're going to want it when you start throwing these in, because you want the outside to get real crispy, and you want the inside all nice and succulent and moist. You don't want to dry these things out with frying. Don't want them in there too long, okay? Now, I'm going to put this in a bowl, and we'll start stuffing them raviolis. Now that I'm here, I'm ready to stuff, but I need to put down a little bit of water all over this thing because that's going to help the top layer of dough stick when I mash them together, okay? Just a real thin layer, I just rub it out, and then we're just going to go ahead and, you know, you decide what size of, of uh, ravioli pocket you want. That's just about a good heaping tablespoon's worth. And uh, make sure you space them enough to uh, be able to put pressure in down, down in between them and cut them up. Okay, there, easy enough. Got them all evenly distributed all over that sucker. And all you got to do is take this other piece and just lay it out over the top of it. Oh, looks like I'm going to need two hands to do it. There we go. Now all you got to do is just press down in between. Little judo chops. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to press them a lot more than that, but uh, we'll get them to where they're stuck together, and then I'm just going to use my uh, pizza cutter to slice them all up. Uh, you can get one of those ravioli cutters, you know, that puts a nice little pattern. I was looking for one at the store today, actually, so I'm sure they're only just a couple dollars, but I couldn't find one. So a pizza cutter is going to work. It doesn't matter. We'll get her done either way. Okay. Now I'll press them down just a little bit more, and all I'm going to do is take this roller, and I'm going to just go right down the center here, just separating it. Not a big deal. Cut off this excess right here. Like that, go on the in between. Just like that, and I'll do that to the rest of them. Separate them out and get ready for the egg wash, the breadcrumbs, and to fry it. Now the breadcrumbs, just so you know, I just use a Japanese style breadcrumbs because they're nice when when they're real fluffy on shrimp and whatnot. You know, um, real airy. That way, it's, I mean, you're already dense enough as it is with the pasta. So you might as well just add a light crust on there so you really enjoy it. There we go. We've got them all separated here. Now if you're having a hard time with the top layer and the bottom layer sticking together, all you have to do is take a fork like you do the pastry and you can just give it a good stint here all the way around. Plus it kind of gives it a cool little look. And uh, then you can put it in your egg wash and throw it in the the crumbs and the fryer and all that good stuff. See how easy that is? Not a big deal. Now, I made them large like this because there's only going to be a couple served, you know, two, maybe three per person um, as a meal. Um, but to tell you the truth, today I'm making pizza too, but that's not going to be on the video. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do this to all of them, then we'll throw them in the egg wash. Simple enough. Now look, this is how easy this is. I'll just take a ravioli, let's egg wash it, that's breadcrumbs, and wash this. Right in the frying oil. I've only got about a half inch in there, and we'll just flip it here in just a few minutes. Not a big deal. As you can see, the colors come along quite nicely. Them. Use that one. That was the last one I put in there, so that's why it's not ready yet. And that one could use a little more time too. Frying's easy. All you got to do is get it to the color you want. Um, sometimes it's good to pull it a little bit before the color you want because it continues to keep cooking because that oil is so hot. But in the meantime, the sauce is real simple. I wasn't going to include this, but might as well because i got to make it for the pizza anyway. have got the uh, olive oil there. I'm going to throw in 
garlic. As you can see, that's pretty hot. And before it burns, I'm going to add tomato sauce. And I'm just going to go ahead and about fill her up. Mm. There we go. Now, killed the heat. It's like it's way too hot. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm going to add that Italian seasoning that we talked about because it's already got all the goods in it that you want. And we'll, we'll just give that a good stir. Okay. I don't know. You tell me. How does that look to you? Look done? Go ahead and cut through that bad boy. And see what she looks like on the inside. Better lighting. That ain't bad, huh? Maybe get a little sauce on her. And there you have it. Get your homemade fried ravioli. Serve up as many as you like.